Okay, so now here we go to the top 10 list. So number 10 is Gregory Pratt and Lucy Knight from ER. And the reason why I put the two of them is because both their deaths basically destroyed me. Especially Gregory Pratt because I love Mackay Pfeiffer. So watching his character die, especially the way he died, was just so heartbreaking. And I still cannot rewatch that episode no matter what. I have tried multiple times but I always skip over it because I I can't watch it. I'm trying my best to watch it again but it's just it's so hard <laughs> it's so heartbreaking and so hard whereas with Lucy Knight it's I've only watched it like two other times than the first time I watched it so I'm, I'm getting better with that one but it's a little bit less traumatic for me, even though I do adore the actress who played her. It, it's just, you see her, cause it's like, they're all celebrating Valentine's Day, basically. So they had a cake and they had this giant knife to cut the cake. And one of the patients who is suffering from mental illness ends up getting the knife and ends up stabbing Lucy multiple times and then when Carter ends up like coming into the room trying to see if he could find Lucy he ends up getting stabbed in the back and then the patient ends up leaving and then when Carter falls to the floor that's when he sees Lucy and she's like bleeding from the neck and she's just hurting and oh. I'm trying to explain this but I'm having a little bit of difficulty I envisioned this going a little bit different so please bear with me so and then the next episode because this ended the episode then the next episode is when they get found but it's a little bit of ways into the episode before someone like opens the door and I believe it's Carrie Weaver who opens the door and sees them and screams and then automatically they all go into trying to save Carter and Lucy and they're able to save Carter and then unfortunately while they're able to save Lucy in the beginning there's a setback and it just becomes too much and she you know, she can't, she doesn't survive. And you can see the frustration on Corday's face as she knows, like, because Lucy's a doctor, she knows what's happening. She knows this isn't good. She knows there's a chance that she won't survive. And Corday is trying to do everything in her power to save her. But in the end, it just didn't work out. And you just sit there sobbing, going like, please, please, no, save her. But so hard to watch that episode and the Pratt episode like I said I still haven't watched it again I watched the when it first aired and I haven't watched it since and <laughs> maybe one day I'll watch it again but <sighs> they tried so hard to save their co-worker but it just They were unsuccessful and him being the first tragedy of season 15 and the final season I think that made it even worse in the end but <laughs> so number nine is Alex Whitman from Roswell this one is a little you know it's a way it's from the 90s and <laughs> I don't know how many people have actually watched Roswell or still watch it, which you should. It is a good show and I really wish it was longer than three seasons. I hope the reboot does very well and goes a little bit longer because they deserve some love. But Alex Whitman is the best 
was one of the best characters on the show. He was so lovable. He was so sweet. And him and Izzy, well, Isabel, him and Isabel were just so cute. And they were finally getting together. And then you find him dead. You find out he's died. And I think the mystery behind how he died and why he died is what drives Liz going forward and like the rest of the season but it's so heartbreaking because you just you can't help but love Alex and Colin Hanks how can you not love Colin Hanks like this adorable little Colin Hanks but yeah it's just you don't actually actually no you do that's a lie you do see him die but later on in the show you see how he died later on in the show but when they first found out that Alex was killed they didn't they didn't know how to process it and you didn't know how to process it because you're sitting there going like what what do you mean he's dead they were just talking to him like Liz and Maria were literally just talking to him and then like a couple hours later he was dead and and that's what I think made it really tragic is like their best friend who they were just talking to you know died not long after they talked to him and you know that Isabel and Alex were never going to get together especially after they just danced together at the recent dance I I don't think it, I can't remember if it was prom or like homecoming off the top of my head but you knew that they had this future and you were waiting for it and suddenly now it's all gone but I, I still have not gotten over that that death not at all so, number eight on the list is Alana Hayes from SEAL Team now this one's a little bit of a newer death from the show, but it, it's more because of the portrayal from David Boreanaz that I had to put this show, put this death on the list. It's because I don't think David Boreanaz has made me cry so much than in that one episode after he found out his wife, his the character's wife had died, and. I I sat there watching the first episode going, don't kill her, don't kill her, please don't kill her. And then it just, and then watching, you know, David Boreanaz act through going to the hospital, you know, and finding out that she, she didn't make it and having to deal with this and not wanting to, you know, deal with it by hiding out while everyone's in the house and his in the kids you know especially the daughter getting mad at him because he's always away and then when the funeral happened and they get and the seal team gets called away and he goes and the daughter just goes off on him i i sobbed so much during that episode i don't think i stopped crying at all until the episode was over but it was just, it had to be on this list because of David Boreanaz and his acting in that episode. And it crushed me. <laughs> Absolutely crushed me. Number seven on this list is Charlie Bradbury. Now, I'm kind of a newish fan to Supernatural. I mentioned late earlier in earlier videos that you know I kind of watched certain episodes on and off but I haven't actually I didn't actually start didn't actually watch the entire series until this summer and I regret not watching this show sooner so much um but that being said there have been many deaths on Supernatural so many deaths but the one that hit me the hardest was definitely Charlie 
And it just, God, I don't know how to put it into words, but it definitely, it, it hit me the hardest. And just seeing the look on Sam and Dean's face after finding Charlie, I think that's what really, really crushed me. And then the following episode where they're burning her body and just like the, the interaction between Sam and Dean and how cold it is and oh, it's just I I know there is a Charlie back on the show but no one can replace that Charlie and I will admit that <laughs> That whole, like, little, those episodes really, really hurt. And I really hate that they, they killed Charlie off. Really hate. That was, that was horrible. Why would you do such a thing? Okay? Why would you do such a thing? Number six on this list is Jen Lindley from Dawson's Creek. I was actually just watching part one of the series finale like a couple weeks ago and as soon as we got to the scene with Jen in the hospital like when she first gets into the hospital and they're telling everyone what ha happened and what's going on with Jen I started bawling my eyes out and I'm like this was a stupid idea why did I watch this and I will continue to bawl my eyes out especially when you see Jen in front of the camera talking to her daughter that she's never going to get to see grow up and you just you sit there and you just go like why are you doing this to me so many feelings and I need these to stop and I'm getting a little teary up talking about these so I apologize in advance of this but like that whole thing from when Jen collapses to like her actual death, you do not stop crying. And I just, I still hate that they killed off Jen, but I understand why they did it at the same time. And I'm just glad how they did it so beautifully. And it was just, just never watch the scene where Jen is talking to the camera and well talking to her daughter via the camera because that will get you every time it will get you every time <laughs>